Welcome back to Stoneheart. JC here. And as we left off last time, we're being attacked by three large varnaces. The door's fine because somebody got out through the door before they hit the door, apparently. Or is that actually the door's health? I don't know. I can't tell. Excuse me, is there someone in there? Or is that. That would appear. That would appear to be the door's health. And the archer shot them through the wall. That's what happens when you have a high skilled archer. They can shoot through solid matter. What were you thinking? I just dunked into there, but no, I went straight through. Either way, we're going to let them do that. They're going to charge out and they're going to attack. Varnus. I'm going to tell you one thing to do. Move over there. Yes, he is shooting through the door. I realise that they are actually shooting through a doorway, which they're not supposed to be able to do, but in this case, I don't really care. Ah, oh, shook down. What? Some gobbos. Found their entrance to the hovel and are asking for a bunch of wooden doors. I'm afraid to fight them off, but we'd need me means to heal our injured. Oh, we'll brew some, brew some potions. Will do. Small healing donic. Require a small healing tonic. A lot of them. Eight of them, to be precise. Oh, it's because we're not maintaining small ones anymore. Yeah, that was it. I upgraded, so we're not actually doing that. That's fine. Which means we'll craft the eight, and then that'll be it. The dude's there, repairing the door. Just... Wallety. There's massive combat going on, and he's just like, no, no, screw this, I'm just fixing the door. And that was it. Loads of varnished meat strewn everywhere. I mean, we can turn it all into steaks and sell it. But, nah. It's not like we need to buy anything. We've got 8,000 gold. Oh, they're attacking a... I just want to point something else. That mason just titanium. Yes, just mmm. This person gives zero shits. <laughs> Massive lizard smashing the door, and the, the person's just like, oh, I'm just gonna repair that door while you're smacking on it. Don't mind me. Why did you go outside? Why are you going outside? Oh, the military's coming around the long way. Because that's the military for you. Mm. 
They're still just standing there repairing the door. <laughs> you derpy buggers. Are you dead now? Congratulations, you have saved the door. And you, Varnus, are going to die very, very quickly. That is interesting. Once the military have engaged the target, they know that it's safe to move past. All right, back you go. You can, you can go here now. You got poisoned. The beard got poisoned. <laughs> That's right, I'll just head to the medical bed and get cured. It's fine. Wait. By holding that mace, they get a special gift. Increases courage and regenerates health. Cured the poison. Now he's been cured of poison. I guess a little bit of magic healing. Job done. Back to normal. No problems. What do we got? Sand drifts. Huh. The wind is blowing up twirls of sand. Normal, uh, normal sunlight levels, somewhat reduced humidity, vision slightly reduced, unsheltered halflings are too hot to work as effectively unless they have gear to counter it. Unsheltered pasture animals are affected by the heat, which is why you'll find all the sensible pasture animals are sitting in here. All the idiotic pasture animals are out here. It does also happen to coincide that there's some... Um, not enough beds. Shits that I give is none. Yeah, that's what it was actually for. <coughs> At least there's a constant supply of tea and... Boyo. Oh, yeah. He's having a chat with the beard. Because the beard can also now talk to animals. Multi-talented person, this one. Right, before I forget, you best harvest these two. converted into seeds that I can then plant out here let them grow up harvest them continue the process until I've got what I require
to make. There you go. Brain's working. To make that thing. Well, I only need two of those, so that should actually work. The fox lilies, because we get two seeds, that'll be it. Sunflower. I need a little bit more of that, and then I can just go oh, craft. Once this is done, I'm going to need to harvest both of those. Because I'm going to need four. So. As soon as possible. When you can. Start extracting sunflower seeds from the sunflowers so that we can plant four of them and then that will be it. So we're going to have to do one full cycle with that. Well, at least for a time, there'll be a low row of sunflowers outside the window. And then, then we get our. Second upgraded hearth. Which means we gain access to all the end quests. Yes. Yeah. As far as I remember, we gain access to all of the end quests. Okay. If you're hungry, go eat. There's like food nearby. It's not very far, it's just over there. Or over here, if you, you know, lazy and that way inclined, you don't want to come over here for food. So look at that, we're getting sushi in as well. Yeah, there was all that varnish meat I was going to pull in, wasn't there? There we go. It's just the, the scattered remains of our enemies, just, just outside. You know, when we feel like it. Just very slowly working on this. Yeah, you're just you're just working your way through that. You've got 151 or mounds of clay, so you're fine for a while.
<laughs> Two bees. Or not two bees. We're not going to finish that one. I need silver, I've got some there. I'm not sure where I got my silver from last time. Might have forgotten that I had silver up here. Oh, no, I got it from there. Which is part of the same thing. How are we doing for ores? Uh, full? Wow. Top quality iron ore. Loads of silver, loads of iron. Finally went through our tin supply, did we? Copper. Oh yeah, this is our tin. That's easy. That should be more than enough for that area. I mean, the cows are in an enclosed area, to, strictly speaking. Let's get the, sh the moo moo herd. Yes. Moo moos eat a lot, but will produce nice amounts of milk. Slaughtering them yields pelts, steak, jerky, and bone. Moo moos. Oh, four. Class the same size as these guys. That's cool. So I have a supply of milk coming in. Which I am now guessing should really be... Do I really need a massive container like that for milk? Probably. Moo moo milk! You stole moo moo milk. Why do they call them moo moos? I do not know. Just call them cow. I don't like what they are. But we now have milk production. Once that's online, I can turn off the almond. And maybe I can use them for something else. Well, the nuts will be used for something else. Dates? Not sure. Not sure what I'd use the dates for. Mild cheese. Mild cheese have formed. Harvest it or let it mature. No, 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 no. I want my um. That's it. Grab that. Uh, we need that. There you go. One jug of vinegar is being stored over here. I don't stop turning you on to fried eggs. Where the f 
Where you going? Oh, you're dead. How the... Why did you walk? Why? Oh, that makes no sense. And I can't execute you either. So it just... Came out and, ju and then just walked straight back onto that one. So that's how they get there. They get up there because they walk up the bed. Sorry friend, we're gonna have to move your bed. the bed to be moved. Now move these so the bed placed here. Hey! Move the damn thing! the owner. So now I have another boyo that... has gotten up into the, onto there. It's fine, I know how to remove it. I'll have to remember to do it. It's just a pain in the ass having to enable the console and then destroy the damn thing. All because it had this harebrained scheme to go right and just beelined it straight out through the door, round the corner, up there, up the bed, and then into there because it wanted to be in that window for some apparent reason. And yes, we have confirmed that the gates do nothing to stop animals from leaving. They are purely cosmetic. At least when it comes to Poyos. Unless of course I had the gate like down here. <sighs> or something like that, but yeah we got another. Another ruddy Poyo. How's my side are doing? I don't know the fact that once they finish dropping something off, they just stand there like a lemon. I'm just gonna stand here. Mild cheese. I expect to see some melted fires. Good. 
There we go, might as well use up what we got. <laughs> Fried eggs, huh? We've got the shrooms in stock, so... I will have to find a way of using up massive amounts of eggs. Sorry, I think the desserts may use lots of eggs. Yeah. Yeah, they would do. Oh, but that just require actually requires berries, so uh, Ooh, I would use up the honey. Mm, yes. Is that that does actually work? Any butter? How then? We're right out diving down the rabbit hole now. We've got cheese on the go. There is one more thing I can do. Butter that uses any milk. Maintain one of these things. Mayo, but that requires more vinegar. I should really step up my vinegar production, actually. And cooking oil. Oof. Okay. But, I mean, that's just mayo. Not many products actually require mayo. Ugh. Crikey. Layered cake, eh? Nice berries. Uses up some of my apples. That's for cider, mate. Requires cherries. That's going to require berries. Prickly pear pie. might be worth it. Ah, uh, if only we could do that, but we don't have wheat. It's a shame why it says basket of nuts, not any nuts, because we've got a whole supply of one set of nuts. Ice cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely an investment. Oop. Yeah, I think this would probably work. We're supposed to be keeping a batter online, which is using up some of the eggs.
There we go, I finally got it to the end. There we go, we'll put the sweeties on the end because they're not essential. <sighs> Hopefully you're... St oh yeah, you're probably storing the butter in with the other refrigerated ingredients. Yeah, that guy's never gonna run out of food. Look at the amount of this lying around. Oh my god! Even jerky will rot eventually. It's true. Holy crud. Even the jerky will eventually go rotten. As I've always said, there's just an annoyance that you there's nothing that you can um, store the, the rotten stuff just as a uh, get it out of the way. Alright, well I'll have to keep on top of my um, my supplies then, won't I? Oh yeah, I'm going to have to use up the dates. Okay. Let's see. Can we use up anything in here to with dates? Date wine. Sounds charming. Let's maintain. Let's just maintain. I'm gonna need a drinks container out there soon. I think. I think. The white I'll do is although this was nice, it is purely cosmetic. So that's um. Let's move it over here so it looks. You know. I have another task for you, Potter. Aha! Uh -huh. I have an emergency job for you. I require one of those at the top of your list. Thank you. Because you know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm just going to place it right next to it. One's going to have food, one's going to have drinks. Straight on the date juice, right? Well, that'll start using up the dates. That's another way of using up milk. Smoothie. Spirits, basically. 
You want to make spirits? You got to use a distillery. Bort. Yeah, no wonder they go for, you go for normal wort rather than that type, because I have no clue what that is. Oh, eh. Requires any green bitter herb and a purple wax plant leaves. Very specific there. got plenty of juices. I mean, watermelon cools them down. This one cools them down. And funnily enough, this one cools them down. And anything we put in as needing to be juiced just gets used. <laughs> Strange that it says there's zero of this fruit well. Yes, we have none of the fruit. Right? What is that? That. 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 And that. Totally don't have any of the fruit. It's not because I don't have it logged as being able to be stored here, is it? Let's hold on. Let's see, because I removed the fruit from here, you see. Raw fruits are now able to be stored here. Has that Oh This stuff is so cursed. I don't know what it is about this fruit. It is kin cursed. So I've still got a supply basket just waiting for the damn stuff here. It cannot be hauled. It does not want to be hauled ever. One of these weird ones that just says, no, I shall not be hauled. <laughs> Herbalist, what did you, you picked up? What? Picked up some of that fruit. Crafting simple fertilizer. Gazelle. Caught a gazelle. Okay, well simple fertilizer, what does that actually require? A raw vegetable. Okay. Enough. I mean, we're slowly churning through this, but yeah, five of this is being held like hostage. Five of its capacity is being held by from food baskets. Mm. 
because there's nothing you can do about it. You can't get rid of them, you can't move them anywhere, you can't delete them. Well. We have a moo moo! Why did you... Why did you place it there when it could have been... Please place it identically where it is, so the idiot features knows to put the feed in the trough, not on the floor. See now, what is that? Oh, right. can't go and get more. Uh -huh. Well, have I got a deal for you, friend? We're doing a special on many types of jerky. Might as well sell it all because I know there's tons to pull in. I'm just holding on to stuff just because I don't want to get rid of it. That's pretty much what it is. No, I don't see any point. Thank you very much. that stuff and then that's no milk at the moment and now right yes the butter is just being stashed on the floor all right is there anywhere in the kitchen I can stash that Stash the dairy in here. Doesn't look like it actually needs to be stored like that. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Are you being stored? You're storing. Oh, you're storing all of our weaponry. Apparently, there's some sheep feed in here. Because reasons. Oh, there's the Amberstone Rabbit statue. Oh, huh. well, I'll have that placed down at some point. I have to 
guess that the shepherd doesn't have any um, doesn't have a storage location for their produce. Are they still busy? Yes. All right. Um, I'll go for a wooden one. Do you have a? F there you go. A finished work shelf. And before we end the episode, I want to place that one. Else, I'll forget. So what normally happens? We all know I forget like everything. This is annoying. Carpenter's off having like, I don't know, a snooze somewhere. I'll drop a boulder on their head. Well, the threat of dropping a boulder on their head is enough to get them to move. That place there, I require that to be placed. Spin the camera around. There. Perfect. does react weird when you shove it inside a, a building like that. Oh, oh we got we got a jug of vinegar. Whee. That was much rejoicing. Oh my god, we've already got some milk. Good, alright, I'm already storing them. So yes, as you can see, you start to produce, see we got two, they produce like three each. You can get a lot of milk, excellent, but 
on that note, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC, out. <laughs>